The first thing you're going to do in this lab is isolate chloroplasts, and you do that by grinding up spinach leaves. Now, the procedure is pretty straightforward, and your TA will review it with you, but you're going to grind up the leaves in a buffer. You're going to filter those leaves to get big chunks out. And then finally, you're going to spin them in a centrifuge. All right, so this is my sample that just came out of the centrifuge. And if you see, you can look up here at the top, you can see that some of the material has collected down at the bottom. This is called the pellet, and the liquid up above it is called the supernatant. Now I need to separate those, and that's not very hard to do. That pellet is, is tight enough in there that all I need to do is pour off the supernatant into a new tube, and you can see that the pellet is still stuck there. It's okay, I didn't get all of the liquid off, but most of it's off and the pellet is still there. Now, this pellet might contain my chloroplast, so I want to put it on ice right away. And now, the supernatant that I've collected, this goes back into the centrifuge for another spin. All right, so this is that first supernatant after it's been spun again at a higher speed. And you can see that now there's a new pellet down here at the bottom as well. So again, I have to separate the pellet from the supernatant. And when you're finished with this, you'll have three tubes. Um, and I've already got mine labeled here. I've got P1 for pellet number one, pellet number two, that's the pellet produced in the second spin, and then finally, S2 supernatant number two. Now, one of these three is going to contain our chloroplast that we'll be using for the rest of the experiment. But before we check for that, we have to resuspend these pellets, which means to break them up and get them back in solution. And this is a step where uh, a lot of people go wrong because they don't do this well enough. Spending a little extra time at this point, resuspending these pellets, can really save you a lot of time down the road when you start analyzing your chloroplast. So you're going to need to mix this with one and a half mils of this grinding buffer. So you can just use these pipetters. They're marked here with the amounts of milliliters on there. So I'm going to put one and a half mils of that in there. Now the pellet still needs to get broken up. So what I'm going to do now is reach in here and just kind of squish it up and down stop every now and then and check to see if I have any chunks. And if I still see some chunks, I'm going to keep squishing it until all those chunks are broken up. So really look carefully and take your time at this point because it's going to make everything work better later on. Now once it's done, once it's resuspended, I want to definitely put that right back on ice so I can protect any chloroplast that might be in there. Of course, you're going to do the same thing with pellet number two.